Hey everybody, Ron Placone here, back after a bit of a hiatus, and I'm clean shaven. Why? Because for Halloween this year, I went to a Harry Potter themed party, and my costume choice was pretty obvious. You know, admittedly, I never got on board with the Harry Potter thing, so I, 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 I knew next to nothing about it. I'm Ron Weasley, I'm not good at Quidditch, I have a rat named Scabbers, oh, where's Gryffindor? That's all I knew, Voldemort's bad. Trans Canada has delayed the Keystone XL pipeline, they're not pursuing it right now now. Quote, we're waiting for a president that's not going to veto it right away. As evident by the anyone but Bernie t-shirts that all the staff's been wearing. Now, Hillary Clinton has gone on record opposing the Keystone XL pipeline, but she does come with a price. Just ask the health insurance industry. Plus, if she disciplined TransCanada the same way she disciplined Wall Street, she would just approve the XL pipeline, but make them promise they wouldn't mess with anybody's water supply. She might even make them pinky swear. TransCanada has adopted a new slogan for the pipeline, though. Hashtag Jeb can fix it. By the way, Jeb Bush supporters have responded to that social media storm with the new hashtag Jeb can fix it campaign. Quote, what are all those pound signs for? This is Ron Placone signing out.